Screenshots in the recording can be modified in the editor on a step-by-step -step basis. To update the screenshot for a particular step, navigate to the simulation editor and double-click on a step. This opens the Step Properties window. On the left-hand side, click Screen. In the Screen Properties, the screen title and the current background image can be modified. If you decide to modify the screen title, keep in mind that any consecutive steps that share the same screen title will not be updated. In this example, steps one and two share the same screen title. Changing the title for step one will not change the title for step two. You will need to change the title for each step separately. Select Use this screen title in all views to have the updated screen title applied to the screenshot in both the simulation and document views. The buttons below the current background image allow you to modify the screenshot. Copy allows you to copy the current image to the clipboard for editing in an external application. Paste allows you to paste in a new image from the clipboard to replace the current image. And Edit allows you to change the screen region and add masks. When you click the Edit button, an Edit screen window opens. Maximize as desired. In the upper right-hand corner, the Regions dropdown allows you to change the display of the image to reflect either the entire desktop or only the application window or frame. By default, UPerform chooses the smallest window or frame as the default screenshot. Any part of the desktop that is not in the region is grayed out or hidden. The other options in the dropdown display more parts of the desktop. The number of options in the dropdown will vary depending on the application. Next to Regions, the View dropdown contains the Masks feature. A mask is a box that is overlaid on a portion of the image to hide sensitive information in that image. Select Masks to enable the option. Then, in the upper left-hand corner, Click the new masks icon. The mask will be added to the upper left hand corner of the screenshot. Move the mask to the screen area you want to hide and resize the box as needed. Notice the number two appears in this mask. This indicates that the mask will appear in two steps, the current step and the next step. This is because the steps are consecutive steps that share the same screen title, and UPerform assumes the mask will be needed to hide the same screen areas in consecutive steps. To modify the number of steps the mask is applied to, and to modify the color of the mask, Double click the box. The mask properties window pops up. To change the color of the mask, go to background color and select a color from the drop down. Border color does not need to be defined unless you change the border thickness. To modify the number of steps the mask is applied to, review the steps at the bottom and select or deselect the steps. Remember, masks can only be copied to consecutive steps that share the same screen title. Since steps three, four, and five have a different screen title, they do not appear in this list. Click the X button in the upper right to save and exit the Masks Properties window. You can add more masks 
to the screenshot as needed. Click OK in the bottom right hand corner to save and exit the edit screen window. To view your updates, click OK to save and exit the step properties window. Masks and updated regions should now appear in your simulation.